Hello, hello. Good morning, everybody. So happy to see you guys here hanging out again on a Monday for our show. Um, great to have so many of you in the chat saying hello. Um, we'll start at the top, just a few of you popping in early. Um, thanks, Maria, for being here. Hey, Kristen, good morning. Uh, how's your summer going, Kristen? I watched your latest video, it was awesome. Uh, ben is here, hello, Ben. And Heather, good morning. And Andy, I wanna be like Tim, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Um, and hey, Andrea, you've gotta remind me, what is your son's name? I wanted to give him a shout out if he's listening. Um, Daniel's tuning in from Taipei, Taiwan. How are things in uh, Taipei or is, I, I've been, as I probably mentioned in several videos, that's actually where I really wanted to be able to move to, but their borders are still really close. And I'm, I'm, I haven't been following things, but I think that Taipei is still pretty, uh, pretty closed up. As are most countries, makes it very difficult to travel. Uh, Sandesh, good to have you, welcome. And uh, Daniel said he's just finished a busy evening of VIP Kid teaching. I shifted my VIP Kid classes to my morning. So I'm doing 11.30 until 1 p.m., which is about 12.30 to 2 p.m. Beijing time. So I'm doing pretty well with my short notices there and I'm uh, teaching three or four classes a day. I find that in the summer and Chinese New Year, I can get lots and lots of classes. And one really strange thing is happening um, with my students. I'm finding that I'm getting a lot of students that I haven't seen in a long, long time. In fact, one of my students today, I hadn't seen him in three years since I first started with VIP Kid. So definitely open up those slots if you are um, able to, especially now with summer vacation, lots of kids at home taking classes. Um, thank you, Cindy, good to have you. Actually, I was watching one of your videos the other day uh, as well. Morning, Gwen. Sorry, one of your, yeah, if you are here, just jump into the chat and say hello. Let us know where you're teaching, where you're tuning in from. Uh, Gwen's in humid Virginia. Oh, it is humid in Bangkok too. Humid and hot. Um, I'm pet sitting a puppy this week. Oh, very, very cute. Yeah, love puppies. Just too much work for my lifestyle, but love puppies. Fine cats are way more manageable. <laughs> um, Sawati, Sawati Kap, Trish, good to have you here. Uh, Sawati is greetings in Thai. Cool that you know that. I think you've lived in Thailand, if I remember correctly. Teaching online with Kelsey. Hello, still very curious about my passive income stuff getting off the ground. Awesome. So yeah, we're going to talk about uh, recruiting today specifically. It really is, is and always has been the bulk of my income over the last two or three years and uh, wanted to chat about that and give you some actionable steps. The topic for today actually came up because I was coaching a client just before this on recruiting and uh, was kind of putting down lots of different ideas and, and sequences and steps that I took and thought I would make a live about it if folks were interested in learning more. So if you have any questions about recruiting, let me know in the chat. So recruiting is basically um, sharing a company's referral link. You're, you get a referral link with the company, you're sharing it with other people, they sign up with you, you provide support, and then they pay you a referral bonus. A lot of companies are paying a lot of referral bonuses right now. A lot of companies are hiring and uh, needing teachers. I think there's just a lot of competition out there. So definitely still a good time to get into recruiting if you're wanting to create a little bit of passive income. And on the topic of passive income, I wanted to let you know before we get started, that Scale to Success is an online teaching virtual summit happening in August. I am one of the speakers talking about websites and how I create passive income on my website and just really um, teaching you all about building a website that converts as well as brings your, your potential audience or customers on a journey of getting to know you and working with you. So we're gonna talk about that at the summit, but there's people talking about Teachers Pay Teachers, um, and YouTube and all kinds of things. So if you want to check out that, the tickets are $97 and the link is in the description of this video right now that you're watching. If you're on YouTube, it's onlineteacherdude.com forward slash scale. So would love to see you there. If you are available on August the 5th and 6th, it's gonna be a great summit, learning about how to scale and how to build your business and uh, lots of great online teachers on there talking about how they have done other things besides just online teaching and how they've served others, found a niche and found success. So 
I'm really excited to, uh, to hear all the speakers there. Sati says, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, what time is it there? In, in Thailand, it is 9 p.m. right now, so an hour behind Beijing time. Hey, Stacy, good morning. Hey, Jonathan, good morning. Yes, Jonathan, I haven't seen you in ages. Jonathan was in my beta coaching program in February that I did. I went, uh, chose about six or seven teachers, and he went through that with me. Hope things are going well for you and uh, what you're up to. You uh, were looking at tutoring, I think, uh, or creating a tutoring business around around English. So hope things are going well. Uh, teacher Shanique, good morning. And Heather, PGH, PA girl here, but live close to Columbus. That's right. Awesome. Good. Thanks for saying hello, everybody. So we're going to jump into it. Um, this live, I want to share some actionable steps. I want to share some tips for you and uh, how you can maybe get going if recruiting has ever been something you've been interested in. Um, I have been able to make six figures over the last three years just off of recruiting. And it started literally with getting one friend that I worked at a school with um, in Beijing, getting them hired into VIP Kid. I made $100 and I thought, wow, this is a, a really great stream of revenue if I can build it up, create some content, become known as an expert in certain online companies. And it's now scaled to, um, to be completely passive for me. And I recruit for about nine, I think eight or between eight and 10 different companies. Um, and you know, as my YouTube channel has grown, I've been able to make connections and partnerships with different companies and uh, provide resources and support for people who are looking to get this amazing job to be able to work at home and teach online. So uh, his name is Edward. Hey, Edward, it is teacher dude here. <laughs> Thanks, Andrea. Um, Chris is here. Greetings from Puerto Rico. Awesome. Working for Magic Ears and Cambly open for more suggestions. Well, I am uh, in the midst of creating a video, actually. It should go live tomorrow where I talk about some non-Chinese ESL companies, some companies that you can work um, during the daytime if you're in North America. So do check out that video. Um, and uh, some other companies that are more worldwide where you can get students really 24-7. The pay is not usually as good, but they are an option if you're looking to diversify. Um, Sadi is in Ontario. Awesome. Another Canadian. Very, very cool. Uh, Daniel says Taiwan is pretty closed up. Hoping for a vaccine soon. Me too. It is very difficult to get in Thailand. Um, also had a kid tonight from four years ago. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. Um, Cindy's with VIP Kid, GoGo -Go Kid, and Out School. Very cool. Andrew did seven classes. Yeah, keep the comments coming. And if you've got any questions, we're going to jump into really how I got started with recruiting and um, how I created the, the little business that I have today uh, with recruiting. And I'm going to take you through seven steps. And hopefully, you can glean some uh, advice from these tips and put them into action if you are someone that's wanting to recruit for the online company that you're working with. Make sure that you check and if they have a referral program and uh, get the referral link and just start sharing it. One of the very first things I did was I started to share my story. And I see a lot of people you know, making the mistake of just kind of blasting out their link in different places online. And that's not effective. Uh, people get really weary about people just posting random links all over the place. It looks like a scam when we know that it isn't. So I really um, encourage you to start with sharing your story. And I encourage you to start sharing with one or two people. So start very small. You don't have to have a big audience to do recruiting and, and to refer other teachers. Start small, share the reason why you got into online teaching to begin with. And so when I created Facebook posts or Instagram posts, I really try to show the, the, the effect and the result of online teaching on my life. It allowed me to quit my job. It allowed me to work from home. It allowed me a really free and flexible schedule. And it was bringing in an income, a really pretty good income. Um, and so I was sharing those things about what life looked like as an online teacher with the company. So I encourage you to do that. Share your story and you know, just start small with one or two companies, put it out there. I think Facebook is a great place to start if you're not someone that's inclined to make videos. But YouTube definitely is uh, the place that I get at least 95% of my referrals right now um, come from my YouTube channel and the funnel that I've built that put people into my system by applying to different companies. And then I'm able to send them resources and support. So definitely start with your story. And what I also did in the very beginning is I learned and studied everything that I could. 
Now, I want to tell you that you don't have to be an expert in the company to recruit for them, okay? A lot of teachers say, well, I don't really remember the hiring process. I got hired and gosh, it was so long ago. I don't remember what happened. Don't worry about that. You, need, you just need to be one small step ahead of a person who knows nothing. Remember that. You only need to be one small step ahead of a person that doesn't know what they're doing. And they're just looking for help and support. So what I did is I learned everything I could. I emailed the company, I got their resources, I found out exactly what the hiring process was, and I wrote everything down. I just kept record of, of, of what an applicant went through you know, as they were going through the hiring process. And what I suggest is starting with one or two people, your first referrals usually are gonna be people that you know, and I would get them to send you everything that they get in their inbox from the company so that you know what it's like to go through the hiring process as an applicant. That's the most important thing. You need to be able to put yourself in their shoes so that you can understand the questions that they're going to ask, the concerns that they have, and I'm sure that you can remember yourself as well when you were starting out, you know, what those questions were and what those fears were about doing the crazy demos that, that we had to do and all of those things. So a lot of those things can be um, answered when you understand what people are asking. So, you know, just learn and study everything you can about the company, become an expert in the hiring process. You don't have to become an expert in the company, become an expert in the hiring process because that's what people need support with when they reach out to you. They need help with the hiring process and getting started. They wanna know how they can do it. Um, and what I did is I picked one social media platform. Okay, I lie, I picked two. I started with Facebook and YouTube, but really I started with YouTube. And the reason why I started with YouTube was I knew that it was powerful. I knew that it was a searchable platform where my content would live forever. And videos that I made three years ago about the VIP kid hiring process still to this day bring me a couple of hundred dollars a month and I don't have to do anything with them. They just sit there, they collect views and they rank high now because they've been there for a long time and you know YouTube recognize them, recognizes them as valuable content because many people have watched them. So just get started. Don't worry about you know perfection. Worry about your own progress over the perfection that you feel like you need. You don't, things don't need to be perfect or polished. If you go back into my channel, sort by uh, oldest to newest, look at those old videos. They are cringeworthy, but I just put myself out there and I try to kind of um, target the niche of male teachers because I, I there wasn't a lot of male uh, teaching content on YouTube. So uh, as a male teacher, I had a lot of questions you know, not that it's very different for male teachers, but there just wasn't a lot, there weren't a lot of role models or mentors out there that um, I resonated with. So that's where I kind of started. So you can pick a niche and, 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 and go with it. You know, maybe you're a traveling teacher, maybe you're an older teacher. Um, a lot of older teachers are concerned about, you know, whether or not they're a good fit for, uh, for the company uh, or not. So, you know, don't be, um, don't be, whoops, I'm just switching the mic here. Hopefully that helps. Uh, don't be uh, just uh, worried about um, creating content. Just put yourself out there, start creating videos or Facebook posts and things like that to add value and to, um, to help people. Um, all right, so uh, after that, I created a consistent posting schedule. So what I use today in my business is Asana and I use the Asana uh, project management tool to create a uh, plan for the week and for the month of all the content that I'm gonna create. So I plan my live videos, I plan my YouTube videos, I plan my Instagram posts, I plan my blog posts. I have a blog post that goes out every Friday and I have an email that goes out every Thursday, at least I try to, to my email list. So those are the sort of content platforms that I use and I map it out. And I, I did an Instagram story today about, um, about scheduling your calendar. I now schedule every single minute of my calendar. And I know it might sound crazy, but by doing that, it really allows me to um, know exactly what I should be working on, even though I'm not working on it for that whole block. But I fill the whole day so that I know where I should be and what I should be doing. And it really helps, really helps with productivity. Um, so I would create a schedule and just plan it out. You know, maybe you wanna create some content around the hiring process or the pay schedule for the company or you know, uh, booking tips or um, demo tips for whatever 
company you're with, if you're like, let's say you're an out school teacher, you know, think about what questions people have. Usually it's about what type of class I should create. How do I find the type of class that I should create? How do I create the lessons, right? How do I choose the type of class I want to list on out school? So many questions. So you know the questions that people ask. Um, you can start creating content and answering and helping people with those questions. But create a schedule. It really, really helps. Um, let's see what folks are saying here. Yeah, Jennifer says, one small step. Exactly. Hello from Pakistan. Good to have you. Um, and uh, Jennifer says, looking forward to that video, wanting to differentiate my options. Yeah, should be out by tomorrow, Wednesday at the latest. It is filmed. <laughs> I blocked the time off to film it today, and then I blocked off some time this afternoon to edit it, but it didn't happen. Um, editing takes me a long, long time. Um, cool. All right. So we talked about sharing your story. So important. Be authentic about you know, the reasons why you got into online teaching, people really resonate with your story. Learn and study all that you can. Become an expert in that company. Um, go through the process with your first one or two referrals and help them and, and learn what they're going through. You will learn so much through that process. And then pick one social media platform to start with. Once I kind of got really comfortable with YouTube, I branched out to Instagram, and I'm still learning Instagram, but you know, become really good at one platform and go all in. If you're just trying to do everything, you're not gonna do anything well, right? So choose one platform. For me, it was YouTube. For you, it might be something else. And don't worry about, well, will there be people there that will find me? People are everywhere. People ask all the time, well, what, what social media platform should I go with that's gonna be the most successful? It's not about what the most successful social media platform is because they all are. It's about what you're comfortable with and where you're going to spend the most time because people live everywhere. People are on TikTok. There are teachers on TikTok doing really well with recruiting. People are on Instagram. People are on YouTube. People are on Facebook. You know, people are all over the internet. So choose one place, do it well, and go all in. Those would be my tips for, um, for choosing um, a platform. And what I really also tried to do as I was building this up is to engage with people and answer questions. I wanted to be someone that was very helpful, someone that was adding value. You know, I answered questions for people who weren't my referrals. It helped me to learn what they were going through. And I just listened and, and helped as many people as I could. I did a lot of that on Facebook and uh, obviously through my email when people would watch my videos, but I was just helpful answering questions. And you know, when you're helpful, people will refer you to other people. A lot of people that find uh, or apply with companies uh, with me now are because of you know, someone that, that I helped a year ago say, hey, go check out Tim. He's got some helpful videos and then they become my referral. So um, you know, engage with people, answer questions, be helpful, and uh, it will go a long way in the online space. There's a lot of scams out there. There's a lot of people that are not interested in connecting with people right on the in the online world. So be helpful, engage and, and answer questions and be helpful. Now, once you have people in your system, okay, once people it really becomes a numbers game with recruiting, because uh, once you have people in your system, whoops, then a, a very small percentage of them actually become teachers, it's around 10 to 15% at the most. Uh, and so you want to make sure that you're just getting as many people into the system as you can, because over time they convert. Some people take months to go through the hiring process. And so someone that I helped maybe a year ago may only just get hired and, and open their first class this month. So it takes time. And it really is just about getting people into your system and being helpful. And how do you be helpful once they're in your system? Well, you create resources to help them. And this is where I was able to scale. So what it looked like for me three years ago was um, someone would apply with the with my link. They would email me and they would say, "Please help." So I would jump on a, a Zoom call with them, or you know, a, a messenger call, or something like that. And I would answer their questions. I would practice the demo with them. I would usually spend one to two hours with them. That was fine when I only had two or three people in the system. But as I started getting more referrals, I started to create resources that were. Um, going to be helpful for everyone. So I didn't have to answer the same questions and create the same demo video multiple times. So I started with a Word document with everything that I knew about the hiring process from step one 
all the way to the very end. And I made it very clear so that, you know, for someone that was just starting, they would know, okay, at this stage, this is going to happen. And then this is going to happen. And I would give them tips for the demo. And I would give them screenshots of what things would look like in the classroom. And I would give them, um, you know, tips for once they get bookings, I would give them a list of all the things they needed to be able to submit after they passed the mock class, things like that. I just really made a massive value packed Google Doc of, of resources. And then as I grew even larger, I made a site uh, on my website that was password protected. And that's what I have today. And this is why I'm able to scale because I have created a system that kind of runs itself. I don't need to do anything except update from time to time and um, get people into, the, into my free course which is for referrals and 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 everything is there for them to to be able to um, go through the hiring process and be successful. I created email templates that I would send to someone when they uh, applied with my link, so that I didn't have to type out the email every time someone uh, you know applied with me. I would just send out a templated email with all the steps on how to get into my course or how to get into my site to access my resources. I created prop downloads for their demos um, and really just try to be the go-to person for the hiring process with different companies. And once you add a ton of value like that and help someone be successful, um, you know they're gonna tell other people about you. And as I said, referrals are really powerful because you'll become known as the person who can be helpful and can help them to, uh, to get through the hiring process. Yeah, one thing at a time, Jonathan. It is hard, it is hard. Um, I focus on the big three every day. So I'm really, really um, a stickler to this. I only have three things that I try to work on every day. Obviously little things come up, but I make sure that I do those three things. And the, the very first thing I do in the day is the most challenging or the thing that I would usually procrastinate for. So um, for me, it's filming a video. I will find, even though I love it, I will find a hundred excuses not to film the video. I'll do it later. I'll do it to, like later tonight and then it's dark and then I can't do it or you know whatever, I'll do it tomorrow. So I always do the filming right away in the uh, first thing in the morning. It also helps because I will have just gotten ready and I will look beautiful for the camera. Um, so that's, that's just, just my tip for, for being focused and productive. Um, Teaching online with Kelsey, Ho hoping to say the same thing about my videos now. Yeah, I think you might have been responding to someone else. Um, I preach about how the online work protects me against unemployment or underemployment. Yeah, if you have even a tiny online job, you can increase your hours immediately when your brick and mortar, mortar work fails. Yeah, so true, you're absolutely right. Um, yeah, be one small step. Let's see if anyone has any questions. Uh, do we do you do we have to teach for a company in order to refer for them? Um, I'm a financial coach and want to be able to refer people that are looking for extra income. So um, the short answer is yes, but the long answer is as you build up your you know a recruiting business or you know a brand online, then you can work with companies that you don't teach for, which is what I do. Um, I do work for some companies that I don't actually teach actively teach classes for. Um, oh, somebody is making an appearance. Let's just get her down here. So she's, uh, yeah, don't show everyone your butt. <laughs> um, you know, I will work with companies to recruit for them that I don't actually teach for, but I'll make sure that they're a good fit for people that I'm um, sharing to. So it's not just any company. I'll make sure that they're a good fit, that they're going to pay well, that they pay on time, that they're legit, you know, that they're going to be a good company for people to work for. So yeah, you can. Um, some companies will let you be kind of an affiliate for them. Um, like, uh, trying to think of an example, Magic Ears does that affiliate program where you can be an affiliate or influencer for them, but you don't actually have to have a contract with them. Um, it kind of gets a little bit dicey because if you're recruiting for a company that you don't know anything about, um, people aren't going to find you helpful because you don't know how to help someone through the hiring process. So, you know, I would say alongside of doing that, make sure that you're really up on, on how things are going and, um, you know, how you can best help somebody. So um, Chelsea says to create my own website seems overwhelming and very expensive at first. I tried the companies you recommended, but still feel overwhelmed. What companies, Chelsea? Um, are you in my website in a weekend course? So I teach how to do it through WordPress or Groove. Um, 
And to be quite honest with you, you don't need a website to do recruiting. You could create a simple landing page. Um, and so what I do with uh, some companies, I'll actually just um, share that screen with you in a second. So let's just go over here. What I have done with some companies is created um, a form that people can download. So I'll just show you what that looks like here. And what they do is, so let's say that somebody wants to apply to the company New ABC. So I will send them this form. And this is just a landing page that I made in ConvertKit, which is my email service provider to uh, build my email list. And when they fill this form in, they, be, they go on my email list and then they will get an automated email, which is, this is all part of scaling, right? And being able to not have to do all these little menial tasks. You can set up systems to do this for you. So they will fill in the form, they'll get an email saying um, from me, right? But it's automated through, through ConvertKit that says, you know, um, so excited you're interested in applying to new ABC. Here's some more information about them. Use this link to make an application form and put my name as you refer and I will help you further. So something like that. So it kind of kills two birds. I get them on my email list to be able to further help them, but also it um, gives them more value about the company and tells them how to apply. So, and this is just a landing page. You don't need to have a website for this. You can literally just have a landing page that you share with people that um, they can subscribe to. So not necessary right away to have a website. Ah, with, with Groove, yeah. If you are using the free version of Groove, you can make one website. I, I think maybe you can make three. Um, the lifetime upgrade lets you do kind of everything under that one roof, but reach out to me, Chelsea, and, and ask questions. I'd, I'd, I'd be happy to help you. I, like, I love talking about Groove. Um, and if anyone's interested in Groove, it is an online uh, marketing platform that lets you build websites, pages, sales funnels, grow your email list, do webinars, host video memberships, courses, sell products, collect payments. I mean, it is everything. And I, um, I, I really love them. I've been able to save a lot of money on monthly fees by, by upgrading to the lifetime version. And uh, you can uh, create an account at onlineteacherdude.com forward slash groove. Let's get into this, the, the, uh, the next one which is setting up systems to scale. Scale with systems that will help you grow. And I touched on that before, because as I started getting more and more referrals, you know, um, I've helped probably at least 2,000 teachers with um, applying to different companies. I've had probably about, I don't know, over 600 successful teachers with a variety of different companies. And that is only possible because I have systems in place. I would not be able to you know, individually and manually help and support people. I've, I've, I've set up these systems with my website and my resources under um, a private page, uh, with my emails that I send that are automated, with my um, emails, templates that I've used. So it just makes things really like one or two clicks rather than having to manually do everything. But in the beginning, that is how I did it. I just created everything and, and would individually help people. So what it looked like for me was I would have one-on-one um, -on -one sessions with people and then I would do, I did group sessions for about a year to a year and a half and that was a lot of work. And then I recorded those group sessions and just put them as on-demand videos that people could watch on my website uh, in the referral section. So this is an example of how you can scale, right? You don't have to actually show up and do a video call with every single person that applies with you um, that can suck a lot of your time and, 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 and not really be worth it in the end. So, uh, Cindy, it's coming in about, I would say a month. I know we've been saying that for a long, long time, but they're doing the IP warming and they're almost ready. So, um, I'm keeping a close eye on that. They're, they're almost ready with the, uh, with Groove Mail. Um, I got jerked around by Palfish with certain credentials. I love Groove. Thanks, Andrea. Yeah, good. So glad that you're into the Groove system. That's awesome. Um, thank you, Cindy. Yeah, so um, does anyone have any specific questions about recruiting? And i uh, love to chat with you. Again, um, I am promoting the uh, Online Teacher Summit happening on, um, whoops, let's just get rid of this one, on August the 4th and 5th. So if you'd like a ticket, love to see you there, onlineteacherdude.com forward slash scale. And 
If you are interested in getting a little bit more information about recruiting, I have created a downloadable um, resource for you called the seven places to find referrals with actionable steps. So you can go to onlineteacherdo.com forward slash recruit. So that's my website forward slash recruit. And there is a downloadable PDF with lots of value and ways to get started and looking at, you know, Facebook and YouTube and Instagram and um, blogging and different things to help you with, um, with whatever platform you do choose to share content on to get referrals. But there is room at the table for everybody. Um, it is a great way to build some side income. And a lot of companies are, are hiring quite a lot right now because there's so much competition. So definitely go and grab that resource if you'd like some additional support. Hey, Kristen, I saw your, your message in the beginning. Good to have you. Um, thanks, Andrea. Thanks for being here. Yeah, and if you have any questions about recruiting, feel free to send me an email. The email is in the description of this video. And um, I love talking about it because it really, it has been and still is a, a, um, a big part of my business and my monthly income. And as I said in the description, it is true. I have built, you know, over six figures in the last three years based on recruiting. And look, I just started with sharing with a couple of people a few years ago. Anybody can do it. Um, and, you know, if you're interested in, in putting the effort in, in the beginning, it can scale to be really successful for you. So, all right, let's, uh, end it here. Good to have everybody here. Lots of people in the chat. If you have any questions, do let me know. I'll stick around for a couple more minutes. Happy 4th of July to all my American friends here. Us Canadians celebrated on July the 1st for Canada's day, uh, Canada day, sorry. Um, and, uh, it kind of came and went and I didn't even notice it. <laughs> I think being in sunny Thailand, I'm not like up on the Canadian holidays and I haven't lived in Canada for, uh, gosh, 10, 10 or 11 years now. So, um, I'm out of touch, but I do, I do think about Canada on those special days, but hope you, hope you had a great 4th of July, whatever you were doing, watching fireworks. I'm so jealous of how normalized things look in the US right now. We're back in restrictions, you know, wearing masks every day. Um, gyms are closed, restaurants are closed. Um, at the same time, Phuket, which is a very popular island destination, opened up on July the 1st for travelers who are vaccinated. But we also on the same day had the highest number of COVID infections since the pandemic started of you know, something like over 6,000 and, and highest death rate as well. So it's not good over here. So hopefully you're enjoying a little bit of normalcy where you are. Um, and uh, hopefully we can move past this thing soon and get back to a, a normal world where we can travel around and interact with people. Great, Heather. Yeah, you're, on, you're in on the summit. Awesome. I couldn't find a hot dog to eat on the 4th. I ate a roast chicken and pretended. <laughs> nice. Love it. Yeah, I couldn't find a poutine to eat on Canada Day, but for those of you that don't know, poutine is cheesy gravy fries. So if you ever get a chance to eat them, um, yeah, they are they are awesome. After, after over 100 people died from the record-breaking heat wave in Canada, places are opening outside restaurants. Yay. Uh, over 100 people died from the record-breaking heat wave. Gosh, crazy. Andrea says, stay safe, I'm wearing a mask even though it was lifted. Yeah, we're required by law to here, but I, I get it if you're not quite comfortable without one. Um, Philip, there is a link in this video. If you're watching on YouTube, you can click down below or go to onlineteacherdude.com, my website forward slash scale, and that will be how you can get a ticket for the summit and go to the same website forward slash recruit if you wanna get my downloadable uh, resource to help you with, um, with recruiting. Chelsea says, where would you say is the best place to advertise yourself? Facebook, YouTube, et cetera. Well, as I was saying before, the best place is really, what is the best place for you? People are everywhere and you can be successful on any platform. Uh, for me, it was YouTube. I think YouTube is the best place for referrals because people are looking and searching for how to pass the demo, right? How to um, be successful in and, and watching people do tutorials on the demo. So that was where I found success. Facebook is a good place. Go into Facebook groups. Make sure you abide by their rules and, and see if you're able to share. Um, you, can, you can share very authentically without 
um, sharing links that create conversations and then people re will reach out to you to get more information. So Facebook and YouTube are really good. Um, awesome, Pam. Pam signed up for the summit as well. Woohoo! Yeah, it's going to be great. It's really all about like building a business of your dreams and building, you know, what you um, are dreaming about and what you want to reach for and um, what's possible out there. Like stories of teachers that have done really, really awesome things and um, been able to create passive income and also just be able to offer something out there that is um, is going to be valuable and helpful to someone else. And you can make a business out of it. And you can, you know, I've I've said this many times, but I've for the last two years, I've never made less than I did as a brick and mortar teacher in a very well paid international school. So a lot is possible when you dream big and, and put in the work. So, hey, James, good to have you just got done teaching. Awesome. Um, how's things in Vietnam? I see that Vietnam moved to a seven day quarantine at the same time that they were kicking all the foreigners out that were on tourist visas. They're lessening restrictions of coming in. Very interesting. Um, Saudi says, how much negative activity attention have you gotten from referring and from so many places? Uh, no negative activity. I mean, people are, you know, if you start spamming, then yeah, you're going to get negative feedback. <laughs> Nobody likes that. Um, but, you know, if you're, if you're authentically sharing, then this is a great opportunity for someone to make money from home. So no, there's, I don't get any negative attention from, uh, obviously there's people that don't, you know, will always be negative, right? The online world is full of negative people. You just got to tune them out and focus on what you're working towards and what, you know, what you're doing and just tune out the, the negative people. Um, I get negative comments all the time, but I just have learned to ignore them and, and not let them impact, you know, what I'm doing because, you know, hurt people hurt people, right? There's always going to be hurt people out there that are wanting to hurt other people. And a lot of times it's just jealousy that people don't, hadn't put in the effort to do the work that you've done. They're just oftentimes uh, wanting to bring you down for whatever reason. So James says, since I moved to the island, oh no, the place I used to, oh, the place I used to live in is in total lockdown. We can get the vaccine next month. Yeah, I can't get the vaccine. And I don't know, probably going to be October here. Things are moving really slowly. Um, but yeah, I arrived in Bangkok and things were doing pretty good. And then now we're in like more restrictions. I probably should have moved up north to the mountains or down south to the beaches, to be honest. But it was so difficult with, with my cat. And I just wanted to find a place and, you know, <laughs> have a place to live quickly. I didn't want to have to do more flights and more traveling. But yeah. Good. There are lots of people still here. So please do hit the like button. It really helps the video. And if you're not a subscriber, you will see the red subscribe button. Um, so please click that. And I have a great interview next week with a teacher on building a tutoring business. So I'm excited about that. Hopefully you all come back next Monday, same time at, uh, at 10 a.m. and Eastern Standard Time. And I will see you then. Until then, have a wonderful day and uh, a wonderful week. And uh, I will see you next time. Thanks for being here, everyone. And talk to you later.